Okay, I'm gonna show you how to use Tailwind to mass schedule pens in a few different ways. The first way is going to be mass pinning from another person's Pinterest boards. Now I have Jamie Lynn from I Heart Nap Time. She has an amazing Pinterest uh, following and she also has a really beautiful board. So um, as I showed you with the having the list made up of um, in Tailwind, I like, you can either go to someone, all their pens and just pick things you like. I like to go to their boards. So um, I have a list of sweet pens. And so it's gonna be faster for me if I just go straight to her I Heart Desserts or I Heart Cookies board. And then, you know, later I can go to like stews and or things that aren't sweet because that's how I have my list done. So if I go to her our, I Heart Desserts, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down, allow Pinterest to populate out these pictures and these pens. And then I'm going to go up to the, the um, Tailwind extension in my browser. I'm using Chrome and I'm going to click that and it's going to let me go in here and just, her boards are so easy because everything's so beautiful. Um, it's going to just let me go and scroll through all those pens that I just saw on her board and click on anything that I want to schedule to my board. So I can do that and you can see the pens populating down here at the bottom. I have 13, I'll, I'll stop there. Although that one's cute too. So I have 15 and I'm gonna click go schedule. Now my um, the regular Tailwind scheduler is gonna pop up. It's gotta populate all those, it might take a moment. Um, and you can see all those gorgeous dessert pens are right there. I'm going to go here and I'm gonna go to sweet pens. And now it's gonna give all of those the sweet pens. Now I, I am going to have to go in here and manually set my interval and I'm going to make this one a little farther like 10 days and set those intervals because I don't want them to pin these all in a row. So I'm just going in there once I have it set to 10 on the first one it's just a matter of clicking on it and telling it to set it so use interval and then set interval. But you can see if I'm going to be scheduling literally over 100 pins within a couple minutes because I'm using those sweet boards and I'm doing it all at the same time. And it's really going to fill out my schedule and tailwind very, very, very quickly with really gorgeous pins. There we go. And then I'm going to click schedule all. Now, sometimes this will come up, it'll say, please enter a source URL for all your pins. And you're going to have to go through. So this one doesn't have it. And so what I would do is I'm just going to delete that. If, if I have time, I can sometimes I'll go through and find the source. Sometimes it just doesn't pull it correctly. But right now it's faster if I just take those out for right now for the purpose of illustrating that. Up there, that one, I missed that one. And you can also look for that when you're going through and setting your interval on the boards to make sure. Um, sometimes I can, I'll pop back over to Pinterest and find that pin and click through it and then copy the source if I really like it. But if I'm in a really big hurry, I just trash it. So that's one easy way to um, mass pen. So another way um, is if I go to my own profile and I'm going to go to my boards and pull up one of my boards and let me find an older recipe. So there we go. All right, so I can go here, click on this, and I'm going to save this. And I have saved this before, but I'm just going to add it to a board that I have. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it shows related pins. Um, and you can do this without actually repinning it too. And then I'm, so I'm, I'm going to scroll through this just like I did when I was pinning from someone else's board. But this is going to give me a bunch of pins that are related to something that I've already, to my own content. And then I'm going to click that Tailwind Scheduler. And I'm going to go through here and find those pens that I want to add to my boards that are similar to my own content. So that way I know I'm pinning things that are attractive 
to my readers. So I'm only going to pin four this time. All right. And then, so you can see it pulled all the sources on that one. I, I find it skips them more often when they, when I pull a bunch. So non-sweet recipes. And then I'm going to set the interval. Set the interval. Set the interval. Set it. And set it. And schedule all. Okay, so that's another way you can pull a bunch of pins that you know you're going to like. Um, and another thing you can do is go up here, say I want, um, like I showed with the list, I want to find garden ideas. I'm just going to search through on a particular thing, and then I'm going to scroll through, allow those pins to populate, and then the same way I did when I was doing it from someone else's board or the related pins, then I'll go up to my browser extension and click that in order to um, populate some of these pins in my scheduler. And um, I find it's much more time efficient if you do the pins like this when you do it from list, because then you can just set the interval and pin to multiple different boards, one pin, one great pin that's really nice to multiple different boards all at once. It makes it much, much, much faster. And that's how when you work your way up to 20, 30, 40, 50 pins a day, this is how you don't spend all day on Pinterest. So I searched for something. I found it. See, this one doesn't have the source URL. So I'm, I'm just going to trash it. Or actually, I'll show you here. If I go back over here, here it is. I'm going to click on it. That was the source URL. And then I can come back. You can see all of my windows, so many windows, and I can add the source URL in there. Use interval set. Again, it's the same thing over and over, but you can see how this um, really helps you get a lot of pinning done very quickly. And I'm going to schedule all. And there we go. So those are a couple tricks for um, uh, pinning quickly that, that you'll find um, very helpful, I think. And then I'll show you how to use tribes in another video.